Hi there friends, welcome back. Welcome back to another how-to video. Today I'm going to show you something that is a little bit different. Some of you will agree with that, some of you will not agree with that, and some of you are kind of open to hear about this. Did you own or do you own any console? PlayStation, Xbox, Atari, Nintendo, whatever it is, if you own one, you probably enjoy playing games using the gamepad. I do. I enjoy playing gamepad games, even if it's a flat screen game on my computer. It doesn't have to be a console. I enjoy playing a gamepad because it's very intuitive and, and it feels great to you know, play a game. But what if I told you that you could play your PC games that are not VR, but you could play them in the headset. You could play them in VR. Wouldn't you try? Wouldn't you at least give a shot and play them? So we're going to start with God of War. God of War just came out to PC. I know it's exciting and it looks great and it feels great and it's got nice depth and we'll talk about that. But before that, I kind of want to show you how to tweak the field of view to make it even better and to give the 3d effect even more oomph so to do that you need to install a software that I will put a link in the description it's called flawless what it does it creates um, uh, fixes for widescreen creates fixes for field of view and stuff like that it's very easy to use it's very safe to use don't worry about any viruses or malware or whatever it is that you worried about now if for some reason your computer says oh this file needs to go to quarantine because it is malicious it's just it's called false positive don't think that it's a virus it is not it's from a genuine and from a, 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 a reliable source so how do you tweak the field of view this is the um, default field of view that the game comes with and in order to change the field of view, you need to install the Flawless and then let me just launch it. Once you have the Flawless widescreen enabled and you have it installed and you have God of War plugin searched and it's active. By active, I mean you fix enable uh, right here and make sure that everything is green. This is the default field of view. Now, if you look in the background, Look what happens when I increase the field of view. You can see how field of view changes. And it will change in game as well. So if I go to the default and I go into the game, you will see how the field of view changes in game. And it makes a huge difference, especially with the, um, the depth that I'm going to show you. So this is how the game looks like. default field of view now if I change this to the max this is what the field of view looks like so it's it makes a huge difference in game and especially when you're in the headset so now we can safely jump into the game with the headset on and I will tell you exactly what is going on I will show you the depth map and everything like that so Stay tuned, guys. Let me just uh, finish this guy. And then we can talk about what I've seen here. And, and one more. So what do we have here? We are in God of War for PC, playing with the gamepad, uh, Xbox gamepad. Now this is, as you know, this is a PlayStation game, but now it's so surreal that we can actually use an Xbox gamepad to play it. I'm using um, the gamepad and I'm using the keyboard to 
adjust some things um of course if i look if i let's say look to the right and i hit shift the, and i the, the screen will basically recenter itself towards me which is awesome uh up and down up and down keys let me just go into a menu so we can see up and down keys on the keyboard will take the screen further away you can see how far we can take it but it will also bring it forward the down key will bring the the screen forward and as you can see if you can see it the the screen is curved which i love doing because then you are really immersed you feel like you're in the scene so if i take it really close to me uh, you can see how it covers my view when i look up i need to look up that way and then i can see the edge of the screen same thing sideways so you can see if i'm in the game it surrounds me which is pretty amazing uh by the way i'm playing this um air linking this i'm not connected to the computer you can see that uh there's nothing here um it is air linked and it runs pretty pretty good um i mean this is a very very demanding visually demanding game so the fact that i can run it and it runs pretty smooth uh, there some there were some dra uh, drop frames glitches but not too much which is amazing now how does this work if i hit now if i hit uh, the home button it will open up hold on the home button it'll open up menu now this is the reshade menu let me show you what i see and the way i know that there's 3d the, do you see that black and white representation now what that is it means that anything that is white or anything that is um, lighter gray that means that it's closer to me and anything that is going into more black it's far away in the background now you can adjust this as much as you want and it will basically increase the depth and the 3d let me just turn off the super um so you will see how it looks without of course it's sharp but it's flat i mean it's still playable but it is flat uh you can still use that app and i'll talk to and we'll talk about the app but right now it's it seems flat nothing is there's no depth in this it's basically like playing um on a big 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 screen without any 3d so you do want to add that effect so that's what it is this is um, a reshade and the way that it shows me on the screen it shows me with an app that i'm going to explain to you exactly how to install it and how to get it and it's free it's it's made by a genius person and his nick then the person's nickname is blue sky defender so once i activate it you can see the black and white and let me turn off the depth 3d so as soon as I turn it off, it col it combines right and left eyes, and now I can see depth. I can feel it, um, which is it. It's it makes a huge difference. Huge, huge difference. It's pretty amazing that we can do that. Like it's basically like playing uh, in indoors, looking outside a window. So you see that depth. Now, not all games are the same not all games have the same uh, depth and i will show you as you can see here but when i showed you the black and white which is basically it shows the depth map you can see that our character is white and the background is black you can see if i move forward you see how things that are closer are a little bit more grayish but things that are far are really black that means that they're really in the distance but 
some 3D applications, some other games, you'll see that it's the opposite. It's whatever is closer is going to be black, whatever is farther away, it's going to be completely white. And I'll show you how it looks in those games. I'll show you the next one I'll show you would be The Witcher 3, which is um, the opposite. Okay, everybody. We are in The Witcher 3. Now, in The Witcher 3, if I turn on... If I turn on our depth map, you will see that it's a little bit different. And when I say different, I mean that Geralt here is more of a dark gray. And the background, the further we go, the wider it gets. So it's reversed from what we saw with um, God of War but it basically dictates what the depth would be and it works really 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 good this game feels like it works a little bit better the depth 3d works a little bit better um, let me turn it off of course uh, i'm using i am using uh, uh, this game with a lot of mods in there but to be honest with you this is stunning to play it in in depth 3d now it really works really really cool you can feel the depth when it comes to when you're in a different level or a different um, height than the little ground there where the water is so if i drop down and run towards let's see uh wait want to see yeah they're over there so the depth really works nicely here and i kind of tweaked it the way i like it you can tweak it as much as you want um, there are some areas that you can tweak and it will be really 3d but then Geralt's size will be it will feel like he's a little bit smaller but what happens is because the depth is really strong what happens is it feels like everything is miniature okay i'm just taking the screen towards me and let's see if we can maybe fight these creatures in vr the witcher 3 uh okay that's not that that that's that's Ooh, they both had the same animation at the same time. That is so cool. That that's not as cool as I thought it would be. Ah nice. I decapitated him. Which I think it's one of my mods. One of the mods that I've installed. Uh, by the way, I play this as well with uh, Airlink. I'm not connected to the computer. Nice. Oh, I wasted it. Wasted it. Nice. Oh, decapitated him as well. As you can see, I don't have the, the HUD, because if you press on... Oh, look at that. He's floating on the water. So if I press on the home key, if I need to press it twice, because one hit will um, load the menu of the reshade, and, and um, basically home will hide our HUD. So, let's uh, see if I need to maybe eat something so that my health will go up. But, before I do that, and I will probably go to a different game to show you, and to explain to you what I see and how deep things look, this is 
working really really nice to be honest with you yeah this works really really nice the nice thing about the reshade um what you could do is basically play i think that there are some creatures here somewhere Ghoul nest. you can really destroyed. play this with other reshade that modders do like this one right now this has a mod that is all reshade so it, cr it looks a little bit more to the realistic side and it's basically changing colors changing lighting the one thing about the the depth 3d uh, which is basically the z the z depth what you can see if you look at the at the uh the menu the hud you can see that there's some not artifacts but whenever there's an object on top of them or underneath there's a little bit almost like a, a wave of artifacts which is you can get used to it um, if you just want to try and see if you like it if you like using it, if you like playing your flat screen game in VR I think that it's worth it I mean it's free right so why not I mean you play it in like this like playing in, in a in the theater on a 3d screen like you're playing a movie the depth is so nice I wish you could see it through the video but I guess you can't but I'll show you let me turn this off once I turn the 3D off, okay, so now that I've turned the depth 3D off, what you can see, this is this is the menu. This is how the menu looks like of the reshade. All these on the list here, these are all shaders, shaders.fx. So you have the curves, you have tone map, ambient light. This is all from a mod that I've downloaded like you see if I uncheck it um, things will disappear from the list here everything all the things that you see here these are all the um, the shaders that are that are activated so if I scroll down all the way until we see the depth 3d see super depth 3d super depth 3d vr that's the one that i have activated and look what happens when i turn it on you saw that things changed here and if i turn this you can see that how it looks now you see that it's a little bit blurry that is because it's left and right eye both of them are visible and as soon as i leave it it'll turn into a little bit um, um yellow green color because I've also in the bottom you can control and you can activate this part here which is I've activated super 3d mode it was on zero activated to one so we get a little bit um, of an effect so you can see it's kind of like the blue and red glasses the old ones when you went to the movie you got the blue and red so the screen the game looks like this what i showed you the way i recorded it was with that app that uh, blue sky defender has created which is it's called vr companion which what it does it basically takes your footage which is two eyes red um, right and left and basically merges them on top of each other and what you see in that app is exactly what you see in the headset only with depth so it's pretty pretty awesome so let's jump into a different game now let me show you how stuff like little nightmares 2 works now as you can see i'm basically recording or trying this on third person games only i don't try it on first person because for that i use vorpex which i love but this will give you the same idea that vorpex does it gives you that z3d depth 
in immersive screen which is a huge screen just like what i'm doing here and this one is free so you can try it test it see if you like it and if you enjoy it and just enjoy playing games let's jump into little nightmares 2 now and see how it works i i i totally think that to be honest with you that one works better than vorpex little nightmares 2 Okay, yeah, guys so we are in little nightmares 2 this is so awesome okay let's see how the depth map looks like okay so here you can see that our characters six and mono are more on the grayscale, basically pretty much like in God of War, unlike huh. Isn't it cool even to see it like this, but of course it's not playable, so I'm not going to But let me open the door here And I will turn it off I also have here, I've created the same thing, if I turn this, you can see that this is on one, let me turn it off by pressing the home key. Oh, this is so awesome. I do find, oh yeah, I do find, if I remember correctly, I have played this with Vorpex, I played the game through with Vorpex. But the depth here, in this, is really good. Really, really good. Amazing. It really is amazing. What? It feels real. It feels real in here. Because of the depth. And because it wasn't supposed to be played in VR. But the size, the scale of everything, the depth of everything, and the fact that it's right in front of me. This is priceless. Priceless. Okay. Come on, Mono. There you go. Okay, stuff like this, this is what it should be. This depth. This depth is just amazing. Now if I turn it back on, just so your guests can see it. You can see the, the, the white background where the door is it's so it's whiter than everything else and that is because it's so far in the background hold on it seems like the air link is not liking me right now <sighs> this is so good <laughs> the depth map when it when you have walls on both sides and the top it just feels that it's so deep it feels amazing okay so what what if i explain to you how cool this looks in terms of the screen and the mon and the the x-ray thing is so good okay okay so the battery is low which is not good because it's low 
kind of effects. Yay, we have the key. This game is so atmospheric. It's not even funny. Yeah, I have to recharge I have to recharge the quest because you see how it kind of Okay. It's a good thing that we've waited. Because this we have to see it uh, with the depth 3D. There you go. So you see how those legs, those limbs that are in front, in the in the foreground, are a little bit darker than Mono and Six because they're right above us and right in the foreground. And when I turn it off. And the app does what it needs to do. It is stunning. The depth is amazing. Really, really good. Okay, so now that oh, my God. Yeah, this is this is stunning in 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 the headset. Really, really good. So let me go and connect my quest to the computer, and I'll show you Days Gone. What do you think? Do you want to watch Days Gone? Let's try and see Days Gone. So we are in Days Gone. Now, for me, right now, the 3D looks stunning in terms of the depth is so good the thing is you can see that there's an aura around deek here you can see it it kind of almost like um an effect to his side and that's something that we kind of want to get rid of but i just wanted to show you how strong the depth map is here you see like deek is pretty much a silhouette a black silhouette which means that he's really close to me everything else is kind of really nice and gradually going to the background and that's a really really nice you can see the depth already without even being in the headset but the thing is I need to kind of turn down some numbers because then it's gonna take away the effects that you see here um, and you can see that the depth map here, it shows me that it's reversed. If I change it to normal, you'll see just, it will not be, if you see here, normal will be, it's the other way around. You can see that normal, um, dick is uh, white and the background becomes black. But in terms of the 3D, it doesn't feel the same. It just doesn't look the same. You don't get the same depth because I need to tweak that map. But if I turn it back to reversed, which would work as well, you see how strong it is. And if I kind of turn, start turning down some, some bars here, so I'll make him a little bit, maybe less black. And I will also go up, okay, it's right here. 0.025 this is good and I will turn back this and just to tweak some things to see when we start getting 0.025 that's the minimum I think zero the complete zero will be that it is um, not not active but you need to have that you need to have just a little bit 0 0.025 is fine um now here okay you see that once i start moving this number 
you see how things will shift it's basically going right at the depth of the offset with the eyes the way the eyes are let's see okay that's that's pretty good that's pretty good and we don't have um, that aura but the 3d is nice the 3d is really nice actually holy shit the 3d is good here this is amazing guys like really 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 good I can't even stress enough how good this is. Okay, guys, I can see deer. There's another one right here. There you go, you can see that aura. Now if I completely eliminate it, the 3D is the 3D map will not show, even though the 3D feels and looks like it's active. But if I completely eliminate that, you I will not uh, see it in the depth map. But it just with a little bit of that aura with that effect, if you don't mind having it. It is really, really, the depth is just stunning. So it's not the perfect thing, but it's really spectacular to experience a game that is not supposed to be played like this, to play it like this. That's something else. It gives it a little bit of a different light. And it's something that you, I think you, you should... Give it a shot. Oh my god, the depth is so good. It's so freaking good. Um, I mean, I, I have to say this. I have played this again, like Little Nightmares 2. I have played this game with Vorpex, and I finished this game with Vorpex. This looks so much better. The depth here is so much better. You probably called the other ones. Look at the water. Okay, so now that we have seen a number of games using the depth 3D, I don't think y you can, you know, go wrong by saying that this is worth trying. I really, really don't. This is... I don't know what is following me. But that sound is awesome.
So what I'm thinking of that, uh, what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to just show you the last one. I'm going to show you Mortal Shell. It's more of a Souls-like game. And then we'll finish this amazing video and I will show you how to install the Depth 3D and enjoy this yourself. Experience this goodness yourself because this is really really good mortal shell if you like souls games this is a stunning little game that is made with unreal engine 4 um i think i could show you how the depth map looks and with that you will understand more i think now Oh, did you hear that shriek? Okay, you can see that there's a huge statue right in front of me. And in the headset, it is right in freaking front of me. And you see that the color is a little bit darker. You see that our hero is a little bit lighter gray. And in the background over there, it's totally white. So this is how it looks like. And as you can see, there is that effect or that aura around our character. If I take it a little bit down, just to make sure that we have all the effects on, it's something that you will need to kind of play around with to see what fits you best. But I mean, seriously. So now I've increased, I've increased the field of view to be 120 okay now situations like this it's crazy beautiful when it comes to depth 3d because you can really feel the claustrophobic feeling um, with all those rocks and walls closing up on you closing in and those tree trunks right here, the tree, that looks very, very 3D. Okay. Hello, frogs. Aha. Hey. Sorry to hook you up. I locked up on this guy. Ooh. He just showed up from nowhere. Should have anticipated this. Oh. Nice. Oh yeah, there's those traps should be careful okay they're done so yes guys that's that's all i have for you today uh, this is the last game that i'm going to show how to how good it it is i can I'm the only one that can see it or can experience it unless you try it now right after this and I encourage you to to do so please uh, stay tuned after this and uh, check and see after this I'm gonna explain how to install all that stuff where to download it from and after this video if you still want to talk to me please let me know what you think about this write in the description below what you felt and if you want to try it tell me what you think about it and if it worked for you it would be really really nice nope nope okay before i leave Oh, 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 oh. 
Let me show you what this game you can do. You harden, and then they can't really touch you. Oh, damn, you freaking frog. And this is how you die. You don't really die. You can go back into your shell. And then you have your own life, but you can only do it once. Just one time, that's all. Shut up. I will see you guys after this with instructions how to install and where to get it from. So stay tuned and three, two, one. So guys, what do you think? Did you enjoy it? Would you want to experience that yourself? If you do, stick around. I'll show you how to do it right now. First thing, all you have to do is in the description, I'm going to leave a link to this. Download Reshade. Reshade is that software that you need to download to your computer. You don't need to install it. It is an exe file, but you don't need to install it. It just launch it whenever you want to install shaders on your pancake games. It's really cool. You can add so much stuff to so many, so many shaders, so many options to create your lighting, create the color. You can create some more effects on your pancake games and it makes the game look a little bit better. Once you get into this, you can either install the download, uh, click on the download, or if you scroll down, you will see version 4.9.1. I'm just going to hit download and it will download it to my PC. You can see right here. Another thing that you're going to need to download is called Depth 3D. Now, this was created by this genius named Blue Sky Defender. Mm, very, very smart person. Scroll down a little bit and make sure that you install Depth 3D XR Companion app version 197. So I'm going to hit here. It's going to redirect me to a thing that is called Mega and the file will be downloaded from there. Look at this. Press. It launches this, which is a website. It's kind of it, it stores files, and then whoever has the link can in, download the file. So I'm in here. I'm going to press on download. Right now, it's downloading right here to my computer. That's it. Done. You have both files ready to go. Okay. I have created a folder that that's where I store those things and we're going to do now we're going to install the shader on Kena Bridge of Spirits so we will see exactly all the steps that I'm doing to install this successfully you see reshade setup you need to double click on that and that will open this window once this window is open that is the reshade setup so you need to click here to select the game and it will open up all this. Now this goes through all the games on your PC. Don't be alarmed, it's safe, it's just local, it doesn't do anything that is harmful to your PC. You can either search here, and I'll type in Kena and see if it registers it, it doesn't find it. So I'll just go to browse. In browse, you can see that I have installed this on Prey of the Gods, for the gods but what I'll do is I'll go back to D and I'll go to software because that's where my games are and because Kena is downloaded from the Epic Store and not from Steam you can even do that you don't have to install it on Steam game it could be on the Epic Store as well and then I'm going to game related and I'm going to look for Kena Kena Bridge of Spirits now you can see here this Kena.exe I know that uh, Kena Bridge of Spirit is a game that is made with Unreal Engine. So for that reason, what I will do, usually with a, uh, an Unreal game engine, I will still go into the name Kena, I will go to binaries, and I'll go to Win64, and this is the actual file that I'm going to set up the shaders to. So I'll double click on this, and then it will go here and tell me 
what do you want to do do you want to make it direct 3d do you want to make it the api would be direct x 10 11 and 12 or opengl i will use direct 3d and i'm going to do update because i have already installed it i will just new afresh now and i will do an update and then i will uncheck this all you need to look for is depth 3d by blue sky so check this and then press ok and then it will install everything that it needs to install it's downloading them there you go it's installing all of the blue sky stuff and that's it now the next thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna need to install the other file that I, we download depth 3d xr companion that's the version 197 remember so double click on that and you approve it and then it will do this and now it will tell you okay where do you want to install it so i'm gonna do next i'm gonna do i agree and then it's gonna ask you uh -huh, where do you want to install it to so i have already installed the software so i will not really reinstall it but for me it was the game is installed in d software game related and then here it's in depth map depth map depth 3d vr that's the folder that i've created for this put here i'm going to do next and i'm going to install and that's it you can close the shader and that's all you need to do that's it once you're done installing those softwares installing the reshade on your game and installing the 3d depth on your computer this is how the folder would look like it will also create a shortcut on your desktop with this software the thing that you could do is run vr companion app launcher and once you run it it'll open up this this will basically tell Depth3D VR which headset you own. So if you have an Oculus, I will just press on the Oculus VR and that will open up your Oculus app on your computer and it will also open up this window, VR Companion app. You can see that what happens is, this is what you see. Let's not worry about that, but you can see that this is basically like OBS what what you see is what I see in the headset you can see that I'm holding the headset in my hand and what I see here is exactly what my computer is like infinite right it's like putting two mirrors facing each other it'll be infinite that's what you see here of course if I move this to the other screen it'll not look like that but for now for here this is what we see so everything that you see in on the screen is going to be in the headset okay, so now that we're launching the game you will see that the game has split into two left and right if you don't see it that is because your shader is not really active and i'll show you how to activate it you see that there's a little bit of text on top here um, and that is because there is a, a reshade attached to the game and the game is split into two halves only because what happens is the the shader is a 3d vr so it renders to both eyes and what the companion vr companion that we have installed will basically merge them to what you need to see in the headset to see full 3d so how do you get into the reshade menu you need to press on the home key on your keyboard and look what happens when i press on it right now you will see that it opens up this menu um, and what you see here on the top these things here these are the shaders that are installed they're not active you can see the only thing that is activated is super depth 3d vr you see if i uncheck it you'll see that the back has become one screen like you see on the flat screen if i press on it again and i will check it you'll see that it's split into it, it becomes a little bit weird it becomes blurry but wh what you see is left eye and right eye on top of each other and it looks blurry so i'll show you how it looks in the headset 
but what we need to do now is basically if you scroll down you will see this is all the menu for the 3d if you look at the depth map view if I press on it you will see this in fact let's go in game you see once I get out of the menu it will go into the two screen let's do continue so we will see it in action in the actual scene of the game okay press home again and let's depth map so this is it this is what you see this is what the depth map looks like that's how the depth is being defined to the game and in the headset it does look like a, this depth all over the scene you can see that Kana is marked as a dark gray and the rest is becoming wider and wider like I've told you there are few ways to create the depth map some areas are basically it's flipped usually it's the wider is close to the camera and then it, as it gets black it goes to the background and it disappears and it's very very far away some 3d applications they want it the opposite way so the, the black it the more black it is it will be in front of the camera and as it goes wider it's going to be far away and that's what it ha what happens in the th VR companion app that um, Blue Sky Defender has created some 3d softwares that's what they use so this is how it looks like and trust me when you look at it in the headset when you see those um, creatures and they're in front of you and everything else is far back you can totally see the distance you can totally see the effect of the depth so if we go back into this and I will cancel the depth map view and now we will also go into showing you what it looks like in the headset so that's how it looks in the headset you can see that there is a big screen do you see it there's a big screen now what you see on video it's not you will not really understand until you see it in the actual headset now once you're in the headset you kind of need to remember the commands or the keys for that software but if I press on the up top key on my keyboard you can see that the screen is going away from me and then if I press on the down key the screen is coming towards me and it can go really really close so you can see if I press on the up key it goes farther away and if I press down key it will come close to me now you don't want it to be too close to you because then it becomes maybe a little bit pixelated and you kind of lose the quality of the game so find your way in the headset go in the headset press up and down and see how far you want it to be now another thing that you can do is left and right what that will do left will you can see how it curves the screen see it curves the screen so imagine if you take the screen closer to you and curve it and then you look right and left now mind you you really need to also scale the screen right now I'm scaling it pressing the plus and minus will scale it down so once you scale it up she's really close to us and you can see that this is me in the center looking left and right and it's stunning now shift if I look to the left and I press shift the screen will basically reattach yourself or recenter itself let's do the same thing here you can see I'm pressing shift whenever I look at something I press shift and that's it that that's how it is and it, it, it really is it looks stunning it looks very 3d in in the headset another thing that you can do is and I, I kind of would like you guys to do it if you scroll down there is at the bottom there's a thing called vignette if you guys know what vignette is it's something that will really help you in this because if I turn it up you can see that it causes that those black borders you see now this is really handy 
when you use virtual desktop and that is what I talked to Blue Sky Defender about. I kind of want you see how the background has a little bit of an image of sky and, and the moon? I told him that I would prefer if the background was solid black and then when you have the solid bl black background and the game on top of it and when you have the game like this you don't see anything in the, f in the background just pure black, pitch black it's almost like a, a binocular and if you have depth and a binocular effect you would so be immersed in it and I can show you how it looks like in virtual desktop because with virtual desktop that's what you get you have a black background and this on top and it just looks stunning so let me try and see if I can launch virtual desktop now and show you how it looks in virtual desktop you don't need to leave the game that's the beauty of it you don't need to get out of the game for that the game can still run and all you have to do is just I'm going to go out of it and I'll see you in virtual desktop this is in the headset you can see the same menu appears which is this and now what I do is I basically remember the shortcut for the half SPS now what FS what is SBS side by side you remember how the game the way the game looks it looks like it has left and right you can see both halves this is side by side and what virtual desktop will do it will merge them together pretty much like the companion VR companion does another thing that you can do here you can um, do screen size same thing like the VR companion F2 and F3 will scale the screen and um, make it a little bit smaller and you have the distance which is I don't see the shortcut for that but you can also curve the screen and you can see I've done it 80 percent and that's what you see you can see that it is curved Ta -da. good um, and that's it I think that's it I th I'm not sure that you have in the virtual desktop uh, by the way environment you can choose environment I chose none which will make it pure black you can see the game behind is pure black and that's it let's go back into the game and we have the game there you go so now what will happen is I will activate the game and I will do escape and you can see that oh wait a minute it's two screens left and right but all I have to do is press F7 and it will show me the game properly you can see that if I look up and to the sides it's pure black and you don't see the whole thing that will basically not allow you to play the game immersed fully immersed so if I take the gamepad and I would move around you can see that Kena is alive and that's it the thing is with games like Kena uh, what I've noticed and it could be because of my screen it could be because of my GPU and because it could be because the game is running and it's rendering to the headset and it could be because the oculus mirror is running to show you what it looks in the headset what happens is it's very choppy and it doesn't happen with the free 3d companion so in my opinion i would play it with the 3d companion for free experience it don't worry about using virtual desktop because it's i just wanted to show you how it looks like when the background is pure black and it's very immersive so until the VR companion um, blue defender blue sky defender will create the background to be pure black I think you can basically play with it that way and um, that's it that's the whole thing please guys in the description below in, sorry in the comments below please write and what what you think about it please write if you tried it if you gave it a shot if you enjoy it if you like it that would be so good for me to understand if you like those type of things and please smash that like uh, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit that little bell button so you will not miss on any new content comes coming up guys have a great week keep safe keep healthy and I will definitely, definitely see you in the next video. Cheers.